Okay. Howdy, homesteaders. Today, we are at the Ark Encounter. The Ark Encounter. Massive ship-like themed attraction with three decks inspired by the biblical account of Noah's Ark with interactive exhibits and zoo located in Williamstown, Kentucky. It is important to note that this is not an actual ship. It is a huge building made to look like a ship with the purpose of sharing biblical truths in today's modern world. These are known in archaeology as steles. They are known as either an upright stone slab or a column typically bearing inscription or relief design, often serving as a gravestone. The steles here at the Ark Encounter were created to depict six scenes. The Ark Encounter does represent the actual dimensions as expressed in the book of Genesis. The length of the Ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits, which is 510 feet long, 85 feet wide, and 51 feet high. It is important to consider that the actual Ark that was used by Noah and his immediate family allowed them to survive the worldwide flood brought by God's judgment upon a wicked and sinful people. This represents a cross-section of how the hull of the ark could have been constructed. The process of wood lamination has ancient origins. Traces of laminated wood have been found by archaeologists in the tombs of the pharaohs. The first two decks of the Ark have wooden cages and supplies represented, showing how everything could have easily fit with room to spare. This is a scene of Noah and his family as they pray during the floodwaters covering the earth. Curiously, nowhere in the biblical account does it say on which floor the door was located. Many scholars put it in the middle deck. Now that's logical because it places it above the water line. Did you know that the Ark Encounter is the largest timber frame structure in the world? You need to come check it out. It's really something to see. children and their children after them 
what can happen if they do not follow the Creator and His ways. The time and detail they put into this really is quite astounding. Living quarters, food preparation, raised bed gardening, the tools they might have had. The Ark really is a homesteader's world wonder. Even M. Zara's Cafe, the all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant, has top-notch scenery. My wife and I really enjoyed eating here. There are just so many food choices. We did not even come close to tasting everything. Well, we got us some roux. Hello, Mr. Roux. <laughs> How are you today? I think there's four of them. Yeah. There's one over there by the corner. <gasps> one's going to hop for us. Oh, there's one's hopping. They're grazing in the middle. They got it eaten down to a nub. Yeah. Roos are very social creatures. That's why they have to have four of them in there. He's kind of cleaning himself over. Oh, it's, it's a red kangaroo. A red one. The other one's over there grazing on the grass. That's enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. They're facing off right there? Yeah. One, guy's, one guy's scratching his chest. <laughs> scratching his chest. He's like, hey, watch out now. That from, oh, oh, oh. oh. They're getting a little physical. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> like, back hey. off. Hey, calm down now. You don't have to be all that serious. Llama, 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 llama. And there's some alpacas in them. <laughs> I think those are the alpacas. Oh, You're an alpaca. Oh, alpaca. Ostrich. Get some gravel and then he goes up the fence. He's, doing something. <laughs> He's crazy. It's called a pastime. This is an ostrich pastime. Gives you something to do, huh? Yeah. Testing his mental acuity. A yak from Hello. Tibet. Hello, Tibetan yaks. Hello. 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 <laughs> Kept on chewing his cud. <laughs> Where are they from? <laughs> Hello, Emu. Oh, well, Emu on YouTube taking a nap. Well, there's three other ones over here. Okay. Let's take a walk. One's grazing. Blue head. He's walking away from you. <laughs> camera shy. He's camera shy. Little camera Hello, shy. Emus. 
Goats. We got goats. There's just so much that the Ark Encounter offers. One thing I really like about the Ark Encounter is that it is actually a museum with historical artifacts. And I really love their Torah scroll and their Bible collection. It was very, very nice. We had a wonderful day at the Ark Encounter, and we came out here for Mother's Day, <laughs> and my wife got in for half price, <laughs> so that was nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we looked at everything, and we've been here, was this, this is like our fourth time? Yes, maybe even fifth, but yeah, definitely at least four. Yeah, we came uh, when it first opened, on opening day, um, and then we've you know, come several times since then, so this is either number four or number five. And we still enjoy coming here. Uh, this is the first time we actually ate at the Imzara's uh, Cafe, which yeah. is right over there. Right over there. Uh, and it was wonderful. Really good. Um, all the other pastimes, we'd eat at these smaller restaurants that are out here in the village. And they are also wonderful, but they're not open yet this year. They have a smoked... Um, they have a smoker and they smoke brisket and um, whole pork and smoked chicken. So, so they weren't very open good. today, but we had already planned on eating at the cafe anyhow. Yep. And we had a really good time. So there's, there's the arc behind us, and we are headed home. <laughs> I'm tired. It was a long day.